So if it was you, and somebody told you, well, get over yourself, it's a freaking IV. How much are you paying again? When I find something like this, RV inspection day and today we're in Bushnell, Florida and we're about to inspect this Cedar Creek 2925 RL, the 25th anniversary edition. It looks pretty beautiful. So stick around. We're going to update you at lunch and the end of the day. All right, let's go inside. Let's see my first glimpse and also my stow and go. Hold on. Let me get around the corner here. Now it's kind of a tight squeeze, so you're not gonna have access to anything at all. You can't get to your fridge, your stove, nothing. But the other tight squeeze is going to be coming up here to the right. You can get into the bathroom, that's fine. But if you wanna go to bed, you better squish in there. You better be pretty skinny. But I gotta tell you, my first glimpse, come in here, you gotta check this out. I think somebody knew I was coming because do you see how wet the shower is and the shower doors? I think they said, Blue Ox is coming. We better check the seals of the shower. So I'll update you at the end of the day because I'm going to wait until after lunch. So stick around. All right, first glimpse, Cedar Creek. So far I've been walking around. I leveled the unit and everything looks perfect. It looks nice. It looks like they made an effort on this one. Future will tell us. What do I like about Cedar Creek? Absolutely nothing. I'm kidding. Any boxes, for me, is a box. I know some people don't like me to say that, but there's a frame and there's a construction on top of it. So for me, that's a box. Cedar Creek, Alliance, Grand Design, whoever you go at, I do not look at this as a brand. For me, it's a unit that we need to go through. And on top of it, for example, again, these people that hired us for this have this ultimate goal to have this being picture perfect once we're done and delivered our CRL. And that's what we're gonna go to work for. And I just want to slide that in because some people who actually don't know me actually think that I cannot smile I actually can, but I want you to understand what's going on with this. When I get here, Laurel can vouch to this, I'm focused. The night before, whatever it is, a fifth wheel, a travel trailer, a class A, my mind's already set up to what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So there's things the night before I don't even talk to, to people about certain things because I'm driven. So when I come here on top of it, we gotta do videos. I gotta think of content. I gotta think how I'm gonna explain this. While I'm talking to you, I'm already on the roof of this one. I already did the leveling system. I did a lot of things that I already researched. So that's why sometimes I'm sorry if I'm stoic, if I'm not the laughable thing that you'd like to see. But if ever you cross us over in a campground or something, come check it out. You might see a smile coming out of my face. Just checking, maybe not. See you later. All right, lunchtime recap. Let's take a stroll on the roof. I don't know if Cedar Creek has a plant of screws around their location when they put those together. But I'm kind of surprised how many screws I can find in a gutter. It's like, are you kidding me? This becomes a projectile. It'll end up on top of the slide out roof. When you close it in, your guess is as good as mine what it's gonna do. So that was the first thing. And then I had one pinhole in the skylight. You remember I addressed this before. You guys gotta go up there once in a while. This is not the manufacturer's fault. This is the components that they use, the material that they use. And it will blow up and it will create a little hole just like this one. Now let's go to the slide out. So I've got this slide out here that I've got an issue with. And we didn't address that this morning, but on the inside, the one on the street side, the one on the driver's side, you guys would call it, we can actually see outside. So before we start putting those out there, we can see from the front of the slide out to the back of the slide out in that kitchen, living room, both of those sections, the front and the back. When it's in and you're rolling, I know you might never drive when it rains, but just in case one of these days you happen to drive when it rains, wouldn't you be happy if it didn't come back in to the RV? Just saying. Now let's go on this slide out on the curbside. So now on this slide out, we're on the back of the slide out. And I don't know if you can see from there, 
but this is really tight on top of there. You can see that the trim is actually rubbing within the structure. Here's the slide out. Here's how much room I got to go here. Did we call this too tight one day? Let's go in the front. So now you can see the difference from the front. See where the front, I can go in there. So you see how out of line this is? All right, so that's another thing. So misalignment, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when it, so let's go on the other side. So, okay, a little detail from my end. This is my perspective. So when I opened this this morning, this seal is actually staying open. So I'm thinking, okay, if my rain comes down here and it puddles down there, where does it go? It goes right here and it puddles in the back of my slide out. I don't know about you, but for me, manufacturing is kind of special. They could do a better job, that's me. I'm not there to judge the construction on your report, but I'm just stating this. And I'm gonna show you this a little bit later, but what they do on those, they put plum or putty in the back of these trims. That's why you don't see any sealant. But sometimes I can actually observe it at the end. So if you have one of those, just make sure that they put some of that putty everywhere there. So, and now on this one, you remember I always tell you about that trim, the trim, the floor trim, this famous floor trim, like Dustin couldn't figure out and he had to lose his whole bedroom slide out. So that's what it is. Typical detail, but just saying, you need to tend to this or else you're gonna lose your floor of your bedroom. We're coming up this way. So I don't know if it's a joke or if it's how it is at Cedar Creek. Yes, I have to put a smile on my face because I can't believe that. Do you know who inspected this? Figure it out, it's P-O-C. P-O-C, piece of, you figure it out. All right, so let's go see what Lowell found at lunchtime. So it's lunchtime. Let's talk about this. Check out this pantry. Is this not the best? What a great place to play hide and seek. But let me tell you about what I found so far. So as you know, it's lunchtime. I've done my ceiling, my walls, my floors. Now, when I was doing my walls, up here in the bedroom, we have this beautiful headboard, but the headboard is not attached. It is very loose. It's not that it's really heavy or anything, but it's really loose and it is going to eventually come off or someone's going to hit it and pull it off. And then coming into the bathroom. So we talk about sealant all the time, right? So over here in the shower casing that attaches to the wall, the sealant ends and all the way to the floor, there is absolutely no sealant at all. So what's going to happen when the shower actually leaks? All that wall is going to get wet. Did you fall? <laughs> so coming back into the living area here without falling down the stairs like my husband. Hold it right So there was one more thing in the bathroom that I wanted to be able to tell you about and it's loose trim on the wall right above the toilet. And you know, it's not a huge deal, but they want that to be taken care of before they actually leave the dealership to go about on their trails, having fun in their RV. So just make sure that when you have an inspection, you get everything fixed with your CRL, create repair list. So when you get ready to pick up your RV, it's completely 100% ready to go. So guys, give us a thumbs up. We would love it if you'd hit subscribe. Leave us a comment. If you don't know what to say, just put C4BO, comment for Blue Ox. Now give us that thumbs up. End of the day recap. So here's the story here. At lunchtime, around 11.45, we stop, 15, 20 minutes. I see the service guy. They were having lunch out here because they're offering hot dogs to everybody. Tried to lure you in. Oh, you're inspecting that one? No, I'm just washing it, so they know. So yeah, I'll go see you in a couple of hours. Three hours later, I haven't seen nobody. When I came back from lunch, the GM here, the general manager walks in, you're inspecting that? Uh, yeah. You're the salesman? No, I'm the general manager. So it was funny because he and I had to go three times because I grabbed his hand and I got a fair grip, but he was kind of insulted that I gripped him twice and he said, no, 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 we're doing this again. So third hand shaking. So he said, so how's it going? You know, that unit. And I said, 
good as usual. You know, they're all the same for me. It's all whatever day they were built, that'll be a different inspection. Yeah, but that's brand new. He's looking at me like I'm a moron that he doesn't even know why I'm here. It's like, you, you can hear the attitude that I've been doing this forever and this is new. I don't know what you're doing here. Well, let me show you what I'm doing here and I'm not gonna call you what I'm thinking of. But the list I'm gonna have for them people is gonna be an advantage to them. But just to end up this afternoon, I didn't get much. It, it was nice underneath 7,000 pound axle and all that good crap. But this, underneath this slide out, I've got this outriggers. You know when you have a frame, the frame of your trailers, and out of the frame, one railing, this railing that's on this side. You got those outriggers, you know those, it looks like an angle, so they're hooked up like this, they're bolted down there, and every one is screwed in your wall. Because this is, those outriggers are actually what holds your box on the trailer. There's a bolt missing. They didn't screw through that. Oh, they will be pissed. I can't believe he makes us do a screw, put a screw in there. Uh, okay, it's not their fault. That's how it was manufactured. But they skipped this one. So if it was you and somebody told you, well, get over yourself, it's a freaking RV. How much are you paying again? 30, 60, 100? When I find something like this, I hope you agree and you don't bow down to, oh, well, you know, they're kind of pissed that, you know, you brought this up. So it, it's okay. It, it's just an RV. Don't, don't go to their level. Please stand up for yourself, build up a little bit of assertiveness and enjoy the ride. This is RVing. We got to deal with all kinds of people and all kinds of things in this industry. Your future is in your hand. This money is about you. And remember the commercial about, it's your money. Remember that? I think it's J.G. Wentworth. I'm not hooked up with him. It's just, I hear that all the time when somebody calls us as well. So, hey, hope you learned something today. Um, for me, it's done. Now let's go check what Lowell has to talk about. Okay, so it's the end of the day, and I just want to know, in the comments below, let me know your opinion of this. Who decides to put four screws in the wall with the kind of font of Cedar Creek, talking about the experience, it's a calendar. I mean, maybe you'd like to decorate the walls the way you'd like to decorate your walls and not already have four screw holes in it. So for me, I didn't find a lot this afternoon, but one thing I can tell you, the refrigerator does not work, but the freezer does work. That's my little list, not a lot as you can see, but going into my water, right? I had no leaks, none. I really thought for sure my shower was gonna leak because I found a couple of spots that are missing sealant. That's not to say that when the water splatters, when you're in there showering, obviously I'm not in there taking a full shower, that it won't leak. But from the inside, both corners of the black trim rail are missing the sealant. So let's look at the sealant here. So the sealant looks great, doesn't it? All on the top of the shower until you get right here. And they just kind of forget to put it right here on the corner edge. And same with on this side too. So you come over here, the sealant looks really nice. You can see how shiny it is. And then they forget to put sealant right here in the corners. The other thing is the corners of the shower right here. You can see the sealant right there, but they don't put it here on both corners. So where's the water gonna go? Of course, right where there is no sealant. It's sealed all the way to the bottom of the shower, but just missing it at the top. And then from the outside, looking into the shower, both corners again on the white shower trim, meeting the wall. It goes nicely. There's sealant all around the shower, but both corners are missing sealant. Water will get back there and rot your walls. We have friends, right, Joel? This happened. 
so you don't want this to happen to you. The other thing was the toilet seat is lopsided. Not a huge deal, they're just gonna go in there and adjust it, but it's lopsided about mm, probably a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. So you don't really wanna sit down there and fall on the floor when you want to sit on the toilet. So that was pretty much what I found this afternoon. You know, there's a lot of beautiful features in this unit. I absolutely love the fact that you've got this wall that turns into your pantry, which is really cool. But one feature that's missing that we find in every RV, but not this one, is a radio. No radio inside, no radio outside. Typically the radio's inside and you have your different zones for the bedroom, the living area, the outside. There's no radio at all whatsoever, which is really bizarre. Not that I'm listening to it all day long, but I think Mr. would have liked to have had some tunes on today. So I think our customers are gonna be really happy with the few findings I've had inside today. They're gonna to get those things fixed in a jiffy. Nothing that's going to prevent them from buying it, but would definitely prevent them from leaving right away if they had an appointment at 11 o'clock in the morning and they were hungry and they didn't bring their lunch and they didn't bring water, yes, they'd be sitting there for hours because these things will take time to get fixed, but they are going to be happy in the end and they can go out on the trail and hope to have no fail. So remember, and do never forget. It's not all about the destination. It's all about the journey. <laughs> If you enjoy our videos, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and share with your friends. And don't forget, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching.